The F-111 had its origins in studies aimed at finding a replacement for Tactical Air Command's F-100 Super Sabres and F-105 Thunder Chiefs in the tactical strike role. The requirement was for an aircraft capable of operating from shorter runways, with a longer ferry range to overcome refueling limitations faced by F-100s during overseas deployments. The envisioned aircraft needed to excel at very low-level penetration, including a final 370 km dash at Mach 1.2. It also had to serve as a multi-role platform, capable of reaching Mach 2.5 at high altitude for interception purposes. These demands led to the adoption of a variable geometry, swing-wing design. The integration of fighter capabilities and the need for Mach 2.5 performance posed significant challenges for the F-111 designers. The situation became even more complex when Robert McNamara, the incoming Secretary of Defense, directed the USAF and US Navy to acquire a common aircraft, known as the TFX, despite differing requirements. Although both services initially supported the idea, it became clear that no single design could fulfill all demands. Nevertheless, McNamara pushed the program forward, and the TFX contract was ultimately awarded to General Dynamics over Boeing, despite concerns. The development of the TFX faced technical difficulties, weight issues, and escalating costs. The design faced drag problems during wind tunnel testing. The commonality between the naval version and the original concept decreased to around 28%, before the naval variant was eventually replaced by the F-14 Tomcat. The first F-111A took its inaugural flight on December 21, 1964, encountering initial problems, notably with the TF-30 engine, which later affected the F-14 program as well. Despite challenges, the F-111 began to gain favor among USAF personnel due to its impressive performance and automatic terrain following capability. The aircraft was sent to Vietnam for evaluation and demonstrated its combat effectiveness, although some crashes occurred due to structural fatigue failures, leading to extensive modifications. Subsequent versions of the F-111 saw redesigns of engine intakes and improvements in avionics. The aircraft saw success in precision attacks and played a significant role in the Gulf War. The EF-111 Raven, an electronic warfare and defense suppression variant, was developed from modified F-111A bombers to jam enemy radar and weapon systems. As post-Cold War defense cost pressures grew, the USAF retired its F-111 bombers and the EF-111 Raven in 1996 and 1998 respectively, realizing savings in logistic support. The Royal Australian Air Force continued to use upgraded F-111s for attack and reconnaissance roles, eventually retiring its last F-111 in 2010. The ROF's fleet included a mix of F-111CS, RF-111CS, and F-111GS obtained over the years.